A great morning to you all. Welcome back to Sonet Institute of Technology. My name is Bruce Malawzi and I'm an instructor for the hands-on pen testing course. This is module 1.3 of the video course. In this demonstration, I will show you how to add a Microsoft Windows appliance into GNS3. Um, all versions of Windows can be added to GNS3 and there is no hardware limitations. You can get a 30-day trial from Microsoft and the installation process is much, pretty much the same as explained in the previous demonstration. On Microsoft Windows XP, you need a minimum of at least 4 gig hard drive space. You need at least 1 gig RAM and one network interface card. On Microsoft Windows 7, you need at least 12 gig of free disk space, 2 gig of RAM, and one network interface card. And on the Microsoft server 2008 or 2012, you need at least 20 gig of free hard drive space, 2 gig of RAM, and you might need two network interface cards because. Uh, the server might be placed on a DMZ uh, zone. So without wasting time, I would like to take you to GNS3 and show you how the, um, the appliance might look like. In GNS3, um, I have my appliances right here. So that's a Windows 7. This is a Windows XP. And I've got a server there. And let me add a switch. Okay, I'd like to add a router as well because I like these appliances to get uh, uh, to get their IP addresses from the DHCP. So this router will act as a DHCP server. And let me interconnect these devices. Okay, so before I switch on the um, the uh, Microsoft Windows appliances, let me visit the router and configure the router as a DHCP server. Okay, I'll switch on the router. And I'll be using the 192.168 network. So here I am on the router and switch to the global configuration mode. That will be, let me clear the screen. Configure the router as a DHCP server. So that will be IP DHCP pool. The name of the pool, I will name it test. The network is 192.168. 15.0 uh, network on the dot for submit the default router will be the IP address of the router that will be 192.168.15.1 and I can exit from there and I would like to exclude some of the um, IP addresses so I like to exclude the uh, from 1 up to 10 so that will be 192.168.15.1 up to the 10 okay and I would like as well to give this router an IP address so that will be interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address that will be 192 168.15.1 on the dot four subnet and bring the interface up and exit the DHCP server so I can exit from here. Now I can bring these appliances up and the switch up as well.
So as the devices come up, they will request for an IP from the router. So the IP addresses will start from dot eleven, the other one will get a dot twelve, and the other device will get a dot thirteen. So let's go to the Windows Seven, still booting. Let's go to the Windows Server. Let me log on. on the windows server let me see the ip address that will be ip config okay this server has got an ip address of dot 11 and the default route is dot 1 so i can exit from here on the windows 7 Okay, let's see what we have. Uh, CMD. IP config. So I've got an IP of dot thirteen, as you can see here. So I can exit from here. On the XP. So let's see what we have. CMD Okay, IP config Okay, this server is, is a dot of IP address So basically this is how Your Windows appliance will look like in GNS3 and I've configured these Appliances to get an IP address from a uh, from a router and this is a Cisco router so um in the next video i'll show you how to add other appliances i would like to thank you for watching and i hope this has been informative to you goodbye for now